Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie here and welcome back to the channel and today we're just gonna get right into it guys. So what we have is none other than the Amal Maner and Air Jordan 2 collaboration. So first off, we're removing this sleeve from the box which is standard to all of the Amal collaborations. We have that beautiful plastic sleeve with the logos right there. Then when focusing on the box, you can see that we have the Air Jordan Wings logo on the top of the lid. Next, when we turn onto this side, we have the size tag. Then when we go all the way onto this side, there's pretty much nothing there. And then finally, when we go into the back, now we have some Nike and Armand um, Manier branding right there. Next, when opening this lid, you can see that we have Michael Jordan right here doing a dunk and some Air Jordan 2s, and you can see the Armand um, Manier logo right there. And then when we actually open the tissue paper, we have more of that Armand um, Manier branding, which is super clean. And then finally, you guys, we have this beautiful shoe right here, man. And I have to say, this is definitely a contender for one of the sneakers of the year. I think it's gonna give the Joe Fresh Goods a run for his money because the quality on these are completely unmatched. So let me know what you guys think about the sneaker in the comment section down below, guys. And I personally believe, don't call me a conspiracy theorist, that these shoes were created before the Amal Manier ones, but I think they definitely wanted Virgil to debut the twos last year since the Jordan 1 hype is dying. I don't believe the Jordan 1 is dead, but the hype has definitely went down. Instead of releasing these first, they went with the ones, and then now they have the freedom to drop this beauty right here. And I think these are definitely way better than the Amal Manier ones, especially with the quality on these. The crack leather is just so much better in my opinion. It's not really flaking off like how the ones were. I think this is way more mastered. But guys, again, let me know what you think about these in the comment section down below. And now when focusing on the details of the shoe, when we go into the toe box of the shoe, now you can actually see that we have this beautiful Air Jordan 2 toe box. However, it's constructed of that Amal Manier crack leather. And in my opinion, I think that this has been done way better on this pair versus the Air Jordan 1 Amal Maniers. And then now when looking at the mud guard of the shoe, you can see that we have all that crack leather right there. Next, when we go into the top of the shoe, now you can see that we have these wax laces and if you actually look at the tongue it's also constructed of that crack leather right there so something else to note on the tongue is the fact that if you look pretty closely there's actually more of that snake skin print right there and then when we go into the top of the shoe now you can actually see that beautiful all black air jordan wings logo right there something to note about this shoe is that it really gives that air jordan 2 og vibe due to the fact that the air jordan 2s was supposed to be a luxurious sneaker so they made it in that high quality leather and that's exactly what i feel when looking and feeling on this shoe but something else to note is the fact that we do have this beautiful quilted material guys and as i mentioned in the joe fresh goods video it had that print however it was more of that cotton material however on these air jordan 2s you definitely have that plush quilted material and i think that this will be perfect for comfort so i'm really excited and happy about that another thing to note is that on this left side of the shoe you get this burgundy amal manier hang tag and then we also get that air jordan wings logo right there so now we focus on to the lateral side of the shoe you can actually see that the whole entire upper is constructed of that crack leather but as i mentioned before we do have a lot of different hits if you actually focus on these leather synthetic trims right here it's in that burgundy material which makes the shoe pop even more and then when we go into the back of the shoe now one of my favorite details is here so if you actually look we have a complete TPU cage that's covering the entire back of the heel, but it also covers both the lateral and medial sides a little bit. So at the top of the shoe, you can see this Manier logo right there. Then when we go right below it, we have this kind of Kanye or Yeezy neck on the back right there in that burgundy colorway. And then finally on the bottom of the heel area, you can actually see this kind of translucent gray TPU cage surrounding both the lateral and medial sides. And what I like about this is the fact that it's exposed enough for us to see the cracked leather. However, given that the fact that it's translucent with a gray tint, it also adds a bigger pop to the shoe which i really enjoy so now when going on to the medial side of the shoe the same thing pretty much follows suit so there's nothing to mention here so now when focusing on the midsole of the shoe we have it in this black snakeskin print which makes the white shoe pop even more and i really love the fact that it's all black however when we focus on to the forefoot area we have that white color detail right there and then that leads us right into our outsole which to me is super clean look how beautiful that is man and then we also have again all of that white detailing However, we do have some blacks and some burgundy right there with the Nike logo, which I really think is super clean. And then on the left side of the shoe, we do have our size tag right there. And as I mentioned in my Union 2 video, I do go size eight and a half with my Jordan 2, so that's just something to know right there. And that's gonna conclude this side of the shoe. So next, when we go on to the right side of the shoe, the same thing pretty much follows suit. However, we do get sale and burgundy laces. And what I do have to say is that I think the black fits the shoe perfectly. However, I think in the future, I am gonna start wearing these sale laces right here because I think they make the shoes pop even more. And if you guys saw the Off-White Air Jordan 2s, they looked really good with the black laces. However, if you do put on the sale laces, it makes the shoe pop even more. So that's pretty much gonna conclude the review on these shoes, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. And now, let's get right into this beautiful on for look, aight?
So that's going to conclude the review as well as the awful look and I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it I have to say that these Air Jordan 2's are going to give the Joe Fresh good new balances a huge run for its money Quality on these sneakers is completely unmatched and I think for the $225 price tag This is exactly what you're supposed to get for that money and I have to say Union Please take some steps because I don't think the materials that you use was worth that $225 price tag also Union a mama near only charged me $20 for shipping and I got it the day after its release date. So I need you guys to take some notes on that because I don't know how they did it so fast while charging less for the shipping at the same exact time. And I had to wait a month for you guys to get my shoes. So no shade, no nothing. I just think that this is a learning experience and I believe a mama near still continues to show why they are reigning supreme with these collaborations. And other than that y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.